Girls, when did you realize pretty privilege existed? I was called pretty in high school because I was blonde with blue eyes and people had trouble finding my waist. Guys would ask me out all the time and walk me to class, and some would bring me Starbucks because they wanted me to be happy. I thought my life was perfect because of this and I wanted nothing to change. But when the next year came, I suddenly broke out with the worst case of acne ever. It was all over my cheeks and not even makeup would cover it up. I hoped that people wouldn't call me out on it, but the second my friends saw me they got scared and asked me why I looked disgusting. Then, when I got to school, people kept flinching around me and everyone avoided me. I even heard some people say that they didn't want to catch my disease. I hated it because in just a year I went from guys worshipping the ground I walked on to calling me a walking jump scare. Someone even asked me if I could wear a mask because looking at my face made them uncomfortable. I couldn't take it anymore. I really wanted to get rid of my acne and stop the bullying, so I started picking at it. But I had no idea that doing that would scar my skin and give me an uneven texture. If that wasn't bad enough my skin got so dry it would peel in patches. All I wanted was for my face to become clear so that people could go back to treating me nicely. So, I went out and nearly broke my wallet buying skincare products. My skincare routine was 30 minutes long and it seemed like I was doing the right thing because my acne started to clear up. I even noticed that the insults were less frequent in the two weeks that my acne was disappearing. I actually thought I was getting my redemption arc, that was until I woke up one random morning to see my cheeks were back to being covered in acne. The worst part was that people had just gotten used to seeing me without acne. So when I showed up to school with acne, again, someone immediately pointed it out, and other people asked if I even washed my face. I cried my eyes out that night because it was one thing to have acne, but another to know that no matter what I used, I couldn't get my beauty back. However, I didn't want to accept that so I decided to stop handling things myself, and see an esthetician instead. I booked an appointment with a salon that had really good ratings so I had high hopes. When the day of my appointment came, the esthetician did a facial and as she finished she asked me what my skincare routine was. I told her that I was using popular brands and that I followed different routines people shared online, like the Korean sets, even though they never worked for long. She asked if that meant I didn't have a skincare routine based on my skin type and when I said no, she claimed her services were useless. And that why was I so stupid in spending so much money to have a session with her. I was confused, so she explained that when she does her services, if her clients don't have a good skincare routine it's almost as if she hasn't done anything on their face. She said that I couldn't just follow trends because no matter what I did or put on my face, I would never have perfect skin if I didn't have a personalized skincare routine, or one that would give healthier skin rather than just a topical solution. I realized that she made so much sense and I had never considered that all skin types are different, and need different treatments. But now that I knew, I asked her how I could figure out what could work for me. She said that before I even thought about buying any products, I should take a 3-minute bamboo quiz. I asked what that was, and she explained that I would get a personalized skincare routine based on what I answered on the quiz, and I could get the exact products I needed. When she said that, I took the quiz and answered that my skin was dry, my breakouts were frequent, and that I wanted to get rid of my scarring and flaky skin patches. At the end, I got a custom skincare routine that consisted of 6 products, which shocked me because my routine was triple that. I was excited to have everyone forget about my most embarrassing incidents and get clear skin at the same time. Though I instantly felt my dreams fading away when I saw the price for a 3-month supply was over $100. I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend so much money on skincare products again. But as I scrolled down the page there were so many great reviews. My esthetician noticed my hesitation and said that based on the reviews they clearly had a good success rate, and the price just meant the products were all high quality. She even pointed out that people spend over $200 on Accutane and other topical skincare products even though sometimes they don't work and they can have horrible side effects like diarrhea and hair loss. She reassured me that the products from the 3-minute bamboo quiz weren't going to have any side effects or harm my skin, because they only used whole organic ingredients like rosemary and sunflower oil. She said it was going to give me beautiful skin through healthier skin, when she reminded me that I wouldn't be able to find a routine like this anywhere else, because the routine was designed just for my skin type and skin problems, I caved and bought the products. When they arrived, I used everything from the rose water cleanser to the mud mask. I could even feel everyone forgetting that I looked like I was infected with ectoacne as I put the mud mask on my face. After just a week, my skin felt soft instead of dry and I noticed that the number of pimples on my face were reducing. I knew it was because the products from the quiz were protecting my skin barrier, unlike my pile of products. Luckily, I didn't get the pimples back after two weeks passed and people were starting to be nice to me again. Some people came up to apologize to me and others called me pretty instead of a walking jump scare. A group of girls with acne and other skin problems even came up to me to ask what I did to clear my skin. I didn't want them to go through the same bullying I had gone through, so I told them about the 3-minute bamboo quiz and how it's all about having a personalized skincare routine. Things continued to go smoothly after my acne was gone, since I couldn't pick at it and scar my skin anymore. I was even able to get rid of the scars I already had, which no other products were able to do no matter how hard I tried. After a month, my dry patches were also disappearing and were being replaced with hydrated and bouncy skin. I realized no other products had worked this fast but it made sense because the quiz gave me products that were specifically tailored to fix my skin problems. After all that, my skin felt so good that there was literally no way that I couldn't feel beautiful. And I was glad that everyone was complimenting me now that my skin was healthy and glowing, because I was ready to air out the whole school when a pimple showed up on my face.